Hello Royal Folks, it's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. Before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon, thanks. Prince Andrew, the disgraced Duke of York, was spotted looking glum and pensive in his Range Rover this week, just a day before British socialite Ghislaine Maxwell's sentencing for her involvement with Jeffrey Epstein nears in New York. According to Express UK, Prince Andrew was seen driving his Range Rover around Windsor on Monday, after being kept away from public life as a royal ever since he was accused of being involved in sexual assault over his connection with convicted paedophile Epstein. Meanwhile, 60-year-old Maxwell, a close associate of Epstein, was convicted of sex trafficking in December after a month-long trial in which evidence from four women was put forward in court alleging that they were abused by Epstein with Maxwell's help. It is pertinent to mention that Andrew's sighting in Windsor comes as the rest of the senior royal family members are in Scotland for Holyrood. He has missed out on numerous major royal events in recent months over his involvement with Epstein and the sex case against him. The 60-year-old was convicted in December of sex trafficking and other crimes after a month-long trial that featured evidence from four women who said they were abused in their teens by the late billionaire paedophile Jeffrey Epstein. It also comes as other members of the royal family have travelled en masse to Scotland for Holyrood Week. The Queen, who has cut back to public engagements due to mobility issues, attended the historic ceremony of the Keys at the Palace of Holyrood House earlier today. Prince Charles, Princess Anne, Prince Edward and Sophie have all headed north of the border for events this week. However, Andrew no longer carries out public duties and will not be involved. The Duke stepped back from royal duties in 2019 following his disastrous Newsnight interview about his friendship with Epstein. His reputation was severely tarnished by his involvement in a civil sexual assault case brought against him in the US by Virginia Giroff. He has always strenuously denied the allegations and the settlement earlier this year was not an admission of guilt on his part. Earlier this month, it was reported that Andrew wanted to make a royal comeback. A source told The Telegraph he wanted his royal status reinstated, recognised and respected. But the Duke was forced to remain out of sight on guard today, on after a family decision, was taken to limit his appearance to a behind the scenes lunch and investiture ceremony. As Prince Charles, Prince William and other senior royals process through the grounds of Windsor Castle for a church service commemorating the Order of the Garter, Andrew stayed behind closed doors. The Prince of Wales and the Duke of Cambridge are understood to have lobbied the Queen about the Duke of York's participation in the occasion. Royal expert Joe Little speculated that the events of Garter Day may cause Andrew to reassess his future and how impossible it is for him to return as a working royal. He said about the move to ban Andrew from public view, I think the decision they made is a sensible one. I think they're fully aware of the public's opinion of the Duke of York's conduct and that is a very much a damage limitation exercise on behalf of senior members of his family. Thanks for watching and please share your thoughts in the comments.